Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. And in this video, I'm going to explain what Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is. And if you hear the name Heisenberg, a lot of people will think about uh, this guy from Breaking Bad, but actually this is Heisenberg. So we will talk about the right person and not the left one, uh, which is from Breaking Bad. So before we go to the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, I will first show you this experiment. We have an, uh, a screen with a small opening and we have a light source coming in there uh, and you will get a uh, refraction or diffraction and you will see that the the spot of light will be uh, a lot wider than the opening here and that is something which has also to do with heisenberg uh, and to explain how uh, we will have uh, this yeah, opening it's relatively large and we have when we have photons going through there and these photons will just pass it and you will see a light spot here on the screen. Now if we make this opening smaller then of course the photons will still be able to go through and this one will also become smaller. Sounds pretty logical. Now if we make it and again a little bit smaller then still a few of them will be able to go through and you would expect this one also to get smaller. But the smaller this opening gets, at a certain moment, this one will become wider. So just before this one closes off, this one will become wider. And that has to do with the uncertainty principle of Heisenberg. And it has to do something with the opening here, with the difference in opening here. And it has something to do with the difference in momentum of this particle, of these photons. And together, uh, you can calculate with them the uncertainty principle of Heisenberg. So the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle looks like this. We have delta x multiplied by delta p, and this is greater or equal than h divided by 4 pi. Um, delta x is the uncertainty in the position in meters. Delta p is the uncertainty in momentum in kilogram meters per second. Uh, and h is the Planck constant, which is 6.63 uh, times 10 to the power of minus uh, 34 joules second. P, uh, the momentum, can also be calculated by m uh, multiplied by v, where m is the mass in kilograms and v is the velocity in meters per second. And it's very important that we are talking about the uncertainty in those. So what does it mean? Uh, if we look at this equation, it means two things. If you are certain where something is, so if you are very certain where it is, then this one becomes very small. Um, so this one, if it becomes really small, then this one needs to become larger because if they both become smaller than this constant, uh, then the uncertainty principle is not met. So this one has to become larger. So if the uncertainty, uh, if you are sure where something is, you are uncertain of its momentum. So either the mass or the velocity will change. Well, usually the mass doesn't change that easily. If you have a particle, then it will not become heavier or lighter. So the velocity will change. So the particle will start moving faster. So if you are really sure where something is, or almost sure, you cannot be exactly sure because then this one would be zero. Uh, so if you are pretty sure where something is, then the velocity will increase. So you will not know, or not the velocity, the, the uncertainty in velocity. So you will not know what the velocity of that particle will be. Other way around, if you are certain or almost certain about the momentum, so the mass and the velocity, then you are not certain anymore what, where this particle is. So you know what the mass is, you know what the velocity is, but you will not know exactly where to find this particle. And to give an example, we here have an atom. An atom has a nuclei in the middle, which is positively charged, and they have uh, there are electrons around it which are negatively charged. And maybe You've thought about it, maybe you didn't, but why don't those negative particles just go into the middle near that center? Because the negative particles are attracted by this positive nucleus. So why don't they just go there and stick to it? Well, that has to do with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. If those electrons will go into the nucleus or next to the nucleus and they will stay there, then their position will be very known. So the uncertainty in position will become very small. And it will become so small that this one will have to go uh, up. So the momentum will have to become larger. Well, either the mass or the velocity will have to become larger. The mass will be difficult because the electron cannot become heavier at once. So the velocity will go up. So if it's here in the middle, 
then the velocity will go up because the uncertainty in velocity will go up and it will actually not be able to stay there because it will have a large velocity so it will go out again and that's the reason why these electrons cannot be in the middle or not long in the middle of this uh, of this nuclei they can go there for a short amount of time but then the velocity will go up and they will shoot out again so that's why they are always around it and never stick to the middle Although the charges, the minus charge of the electron and the positive charge of the nuclei, they do attract. Still, because of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, they cannot actually be there and stay there. So let's go back to the screen we just had. So now we have here a very small opening. So in this direction, in the vertical direction, the position, uh, the uncertainty in position is becoming very small. That means that the uncertainty in momentum in the vertical position will become larger so here you can see the arrows are still very uh, together so the uncertainty in uh, momentum is very small but because of this small opening it will become larger so these will go further apart and that means that photons will be able to come here and they will be able to come here because this one is very small if it will become even smaller then the momentum uh, in the vertical position will even become larger and this will even become wider until this one of course closes off completely and then the photons will not be able to go through and this has to do with the uncertainty principle of Heisenberg well to use this mathematically there will be three example questions the first example question you can measure the velocity of a car with a mass of 750 kilograms with an uncertainty in velocity of 2.3 times 10 to the power of minus uh, 2 kilometers per hour and now you can calculate the uncertainty in position so try this for yourself by pausing the video now and i will show you the answer so here first we have the uncertainty in velocity we have the mass uh, and we will use this equation very important we have here kilometers per hour and of course that needs to be meters per second so we have to divide by 3.6 and we also have here the constant of uh, Planck, so we will also need that one. And here we need to calculate the momentum by multiplying the mass and the velocity, which we both have. So we can calculate this one with this equation. We can calculate these because we have the constant of Planck. And then we can calculate which one this has to be. So this one we divide by 3.6 and we have 6.4 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters per second and we can use these both in this equation to calculate the uncertainty in momentum so the uncertainty in momentum is 4.8 kilogram meters per second so that's this one and now we can calculate this one because this one is also known so the constant of Planck we will use and it will uh, we can rebuild it by uh, dividing this one with delta p so we have this constant which we divide by delta p and then we can calculate delta x uh, it will look like this and the answer will be 1.1 1 .1, uh, times 10 to the power of minus 35 meters so that's the uncertainty of the car and that's very small so in the real world not in the quantum world but in the real classical world uh, yeah if you know the speed of something or the velocity of something and you know its mass then you are pretty sure where it is this is a, such a small number that you cannot see the difference so you know pretty sure where this car is and this changes when you go to the quantum world and therefore there's this question question number two photons go through a slit with a diameter of 10 micrometers calculate the minimum uncertainty in momentum so you can try this for yourself by pausing the video now I will now give the answer so we have the uncertainty in position which is 10, 10 micrometers and we have this equation and we will have to calculate the minimum uncertainty in momentum so this one uh, of course we also have the Planck constant and this one needs to be in meters so we divide by a million or uh, by uh, 10 to the power of 6 and we have this answer now we now rebuild this equation and it will look like this we divide by delta x to have delta p and now we can fill in the equation and we get uh, 5.3 times 10 to the power of minus 30 kilograms meters per second so that will be the uncertainty in uh, momentum so that will be uh, yeah what the uncertainty in this position will be so in the vertical position and because of this uncertainty there will not be a small light spot but it will be a little bit wider 
We will now go to the third example question. A hydrogen atom has a diameter of 1.06 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. Calculate the minimum uncertainty in velocity an electron with a mass of 9.11 times 10 to the m power of minus 31 kilogram has in this atom. So try this one for yourself by pausing the video and now you can watch what the answer is. So first we have the uncertainty in position, which is uh, 1.06 times 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. Uh, and we will use this equation and of course we also have the Planck constant. Uh, and we need to calculate uh, the minimum uncertainty in velocity. So we will not be able not calculate the momentum, but the velocity. So first the momentum, and then from there on we will calculate the velocity. So we divide by delta x. Uh, we use all the information in this equation, and we have uh, uncertainty in momentum, which is 4.97 uh, times 10 to the power of minus 25 kilogram meters per second. Uh, of course, we need to calculate the velocity, so we also need to use this equation. So we will divide the uncertainty in uh, momentum by the mass to have the uncertainty in velocity. The mass is given here, so we can use that. And this will be the equation. So delta P divided by M, and then we have delta V, and it should look like this. So now we put all the information in, and we can calculate that the uncertainty in velocity of this electron is 5.5 uh, times 10 to the power of 5 meters per second. So you know that this electron is not stationary. Um, it will be moving with a pretty uh, large velocity because we are pretty sure where it is, because we are pretty sure it's somewhere around here, then we know that it has at least this velocity. It cannot have a, a smaller velocity than this. So that is how the uncertainty principle of Heisenberg works. That's it. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.